Okay, so Will Fries. This is the thing. Will Fries came in as a redshirt freshman and played and showed potential as far as being a really good right tackle. And the thing we got to address about Will Fries is that we talked about great athletes amongst the other guys uh, that we've already discussed. Quietly, Will Fries is a unit. Just look at him during the Penn State Pro Day. At six foot five to 309 pounds, he is a physical specimen and he's got great explosive linear speed. And when he when he blocks people, they move off the line of scrimmage. That is a valuable asset. And it's one that I think he's proven over time as far as being a good run blocker who can move people off the spot. That makes him a desirable guard at the next level where he played in 2020 and showed some great progression. So this is where I think that the the distinction is made of like different types of athleticism. He's good in a straight line. I think he's a, a great body composition, overall strength. But what he lacks is lateral agility, the ability to transition that weight into a kick slide on the outside to play tackle. That's really why he moved inside is he's a bit uh, stiff and he's a bit of one of those waist benders that you talk about where he doesn't have great football positioning. He can't lower his center of gravity. And unlike some of the other guys we've talked about, his uh, contact balance and his core ability to maintain his position in the universe when contacted by another player, simply it's not there, especially in pass protection. That's a huge problem. Now, it's less of a problem if he plays right guard than if he plays right tackle, where he's not going to be in space against some of the greatest athletes in football and maybe on the planet, but it's still going to be a problem when he faces superior athletes on the interior. He's not great laterally, so that I think rules out some different concepts for him, but he's shown that he's a good pulling uh, player. He can he can make plays when, on, when he's on the move, and he's able to drive block, which makes him a good gap scheme sort of run blocker. I think some of his deficiencies can be overcome at the next level, and it makes him a good prospect. Because again, like Shaka Tony, we don't have a lot of evidence on him being a high-quality guard that would make him go higher in the draft. Now, he's a good project, which means projects like that go in the fifth or sixth round, maybe in the seventh, uh, if, if teams want to pass on something for a more sure thing or something of a more complete sort of skill set at the position. But I think Will Fries with his body of work shows that he might be able to transition to guard at the next level and be a good developmental prospect who may even start with his, you know, exceptional physical abilities in a very narrow sense.